This is News Drive. Boris Johnson and Jeremy Corbyn will go head to head in the first live TV debate of the election tonight. The Liberal Democrats and SNP aren't taking part in the ITV programme after they lost a legal bid to be included yesterday. Theo Bertram helped Gordon Brown to prepare for the TV debates in 2010. We had a very good advisor and he his best bit of advice was if you're not enjoying it, no one else will. And that's great advice, and but it's very hard to follow. I mean, it is terrifying in the sense that everything you've prepared for up to this moment could go wrong with one wrong answer. And I don't think either of the performers tonight will be super relaxed about the event. Well, let's discuss this more with Stephen Lynch, former press advisor to the Conservative Party, and to Sajid Javid's leadership campaign. Thanks very much for joining us, uh, Stephen. It, how important really are these debates to an election campaign? Is it just a case of, well, not screwing it up as much as you possibly can, because otherwise that's going to go viral? Yeah, I think you've hit the nail on the head there, Ken. I think dependent on where you are in the polls, potentially these debates can be incredibly important. So in the BBC 2015 debates featuring the seven candidates, they were watched by seven million people. And one of the most famous examples that's often cited in this area is what Nick Clegg managed to do in 2010, where he surprised both Gordon Brown and David Cameron and that had a material effect on the outcome of the general election. It would have been likely to have been a small conservative majority, but instead we had a hung parliament as a result of his performance. So they are potentially quite important, these things. Let's let's pretend that, that you've had the operation and you're completely neutral in these events. Yes. And you, and, and you, that, you were, that you were advising either candidate. What basic, as, as you're toweling them down and, and giving them motivational talk before they go into the ring, what will you be telling them? Well, without repeating Theo's advice earlier, which was fantastic advice, to try your level best to enjoy it, even though the distress and the nerves can make that very, very difficult. The key is to be able to outperform expectations. So this is where Jeremy Corbyn is at an advantage in this debate tonight. He will have much lower expectations of him than Boris Johnson. So all he will have to do is put in a semi-competent performance to be able to create some momentum that, frankly, the Labour Party badly needs at this stage in the campaign. Um, You've seen some of the polls, 18-point leads for the Tories. So tonight is the moment for Corbyn to to land some telling blows on Boris Johnson. Polls are not things we should be relying on too much. The the leads vary. At the moment, I think it's safe to say that all the polls show the Conservatives in in the lead, although there is a pullout tonight which suggests that may be tightening, as you might expect in an election campaign. But nevertheless, to what extent does new technology play in this? Given that one of the bits of advice I've heard to to, to both men is to try and get a zinger in early on because that's what people are going to clip and tweet and and put on Reddit and, and... Insta chat or whatever it is. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Ken. In the 2017 general election and in Sadi Javid's leadership campaign, we had a slick operation for this very thing where we, we had a system in place for being able to clip those zingers, as you put it, whether it was for our candidate or whether it was an opponent slipping up in their answer. Being able to do this real time is is incredibly important now. So this is what Boris Johnson will have been working on with Michael Gove playing the role of Jeremy Corbyn and Brett O'Donnell, uh, the US Republican uh, guru. They will have worked on these sort of 30 to 60 second clips where he's going to be, you know, attacking Corbyn, where he's going to be presenting hopefully an optimistic vision of what he wants to do beyond Brexit. And on the other hand, Jeremy Corbyn is going to be preparing to do exactly the same thing. Exactly. Stephen Lynch, thank you very much indeed.